Welcome to Asbury Hall Golf Club. I'm Andy Proudman. And I'm Piers Ward. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to change your golf swing. Today, we wanted to share with you something that myself and Andy see every day on the practice tee. We'll often get a client who'll come to us and we'll say, you know, what the, what the bad shot is. They're slicing it to the right, perhaps. And then we'll ask them, what they, what's going through their mind? And what are they thinking about to change this? And suddenly, we're We've got five different swing faults, you know, five different things that they're working at. And Andy, is, is this a good idea? Definitely not, Nopis. I think, like you say, it's one of the main things or one of the first things we ask anybody who we see is what's going through your mind. You yeah. know, the mind plays a big part in, in making a change. And often we hear, well, I'm working on this, thinking about this, this, this. And you think, well, actually, how can you make all those changes and hit the golf ball and do it to they're, a good they're level? They're often right, though, aren't they? Some, with the things that the, the people are telling us, they, they're kind of right in what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. Altogether, just doesn't work, does yeah, it? Yeah, it's very hard, like you say. You, you may have a good understanding, but having to, having to make that change and, and do it well, thinking of the five things just doesn't work. You've got to simplify it and focus on the one one thing that's going to make, make the big difference to you, Absolutely. really. And I think that's just due to the fact there's so much information out there which is telling people and educating them, getting them better, but there's different sources. They put them all together, suddenly five different swing faults. They may well be right, as we said, but it, you just can't process them all together. You know, in a second and a half it takes to hit a golf ball or, or whatever, there's no chance that you can do that. So we like to keep it as simple as possible, don't we? And when we actually coach people, we want to make sure we go through a bit of a system. So first thing we'll do is we'll look at the slice and we'll say, for instance, the slice, and we'll say, what is the must-do thing that we change in that golf swing? So what must we do to stop the slice? Then we look at what we, would, we should do and then we, will, we look at what we would like to do. So we go in that order, must do, should do, and would like to do. So I think for the, for the viewers themselves, I think the best thing they can pull out of this, Andy, is that you know, make sure you focus at one thing at a time and go for the most important thing. So if you're slicing it, find out the reason why you're slicing it. The main reason, maybe three or four, but the main reason, attack that. So the must do, attack that first, and then you never know, some of the other ones, the the other things that they're doing in their goal swing, some of the other faults, they may well disappear. We often see that, don't we? Yeah, I think if you, if you, if you work on the must-do, then the should-do and the would-like-to sometimes can almost sort themselves out. And, and once you've done that must-do, the should-do, you know, they sort of move up the chain. There's always something to work on in your goal okay. swing. And I know I've got more than, one, more than five things probably to work on my goal five. swing. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, look, if you can ask yourself this question, you know, what are you working on at the moment in your golf game? If there's five things far too many. Prioritise it through that must, should and like. Get the must first and you're going to start to see some big changes happening really. Absolutely, absolutely. So we, we, the reason we wanted to do this video was we, we often talk about this, we, we talk about all the time about our clients and how we're improving them and the things that they say to us and this is something we, we hear a lot of. Guys, don't do it one at a time, most important first. This is really going to help your golf game. If you've got any other questions about creating change, which is what we're doing, human beings hate change, Post, post them below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and we'll look forward to seeing you soon on Me and My Golf TV.